Alright, let's do this. So right now, I'm actually at this temple. And at this temple, you can actually, uh, there are weights. So, I had a very pretty slow day. I was supposed to come out here much earlier. I mean, man, like, I was supposed to come out here in the afternoon. I did not. But one thing about integrity is doing shit when you say you're going to do it, right? I fucked that part up. Didn't do it. But if you're going to fuck up on that, you can't completely blow it. You still have to do it. You know, I said that I was going to work out in the mountains today, so I have to do it. So I'm me to improve and do it right the next time. Hell, the next time has to be tomorrow as a punishment for not for not doing it efficiently today. So I'm gonna take you all through my trek. Here. This camera is splendid. So before you even get to walking. To the mountains, you have to uh, walk up the hill. That's just great. We're breathing and breath control, especially as a musician or as a performer. You have to. Good breath control and still be able to have an ongoing conversation. You know, yeah, that's what this is all about. I'll go up there and I'll do it. You see, you can't stop walking. You can't stop walking. Because today will be a a leg, core, chest, and tricep day. Oh, actually, this is actually a, a splendid pre-workout. Gets more and more steep. The higher and higher you go. inspiration of thought for me as I've been going up these mountains are, you know, these people in Russia and Ukraine, you know, these guys, man, they have to go to war, you know what I mean? There's no choice. They have to. And they have to go to protect the women and the kids, you know? So, I'm in a mindset of, you never really know. So, this is mental training. Now, no way is exercising or climbing up a mountain comparable to being on a battlefield, I can only imagine. But I guess the principle is that I'm trying my best to become very comfortable with being uncomfortable. You know what I mean? So we made it up there. Breathing spirit still pretty intact, you know. Check out the art. There's also a huge Buddha nearby. Oh, gee, Willikers. I also have to go up that part too. No, I don't have to. But if I did go up there, if I did go up there. You guys will see a huge Buddha, but I want to show it to y'all today. Gotta go work out. Alright. thing that I like about this mountain is, if 
I ask people to work out with me on a mountain, I can almost guarantee shit, nine out of ten people are going to say hell no. Because it's a trek, you know what I mean? Like, dude, you're literally walking up. Okay, what's the way I got to get in here? Oh, this does not have the same meaning. I forgot what the meaning is, but it's more like of a meaning of peace. Just does not have the same meaning here in Korea. No, no, no. It does not. You can also find those type of things in Japan, too. Anyway, I'm about to walk through here. Oh, here you go. Almost sakura season. I was trying to find the cherry blossoms, but I hadn't known where to find them, but I just found them, I guess. All right, now we enter the walk. This is the walk to the weights. It's pretty late here. I won't say what time it is or anything like that, but it's late. You know, I'm really in a forest, y'all. You know, this is what it's all about, you know. My uncles in front of the South, they always taught me, you know, shit like being in the woods and, you know, not being afraid to do shit alone if you have to. Now imagine, imagine if I just waited for people to, you know, do these things. I would never do anything, you know? I don't know, maybe you all want me to shut up or something. Pretty freaky, huh? Yeah. Come out here. You go to the, you go to the fucking top. It's just you. You work out hard as fuck. And then you go home, you know? And this is what you have to do with the coronavirus shit, you know? Like, yeah, dude, of course. I would prefer to go to the gym, right? But I made a choice I wanted to make. So to circumvent not becoming my usual skinny self, that's what I have to do. See, that's wrong. Oh, this was right. See, this is the uh, the dichotomy between. Fuck, is this right? It feels weird. I know I've been here before. So yeah, this is the dichotomy between a quitter and a winner, I guess. You know, a quitter finds any different, a quitter can find a thousand reasons not to, you know, a winner only needs one reason to do it. You know, you think I, you think I feel like being out here this late at night? No, but as I was kind of sitting at home, like, I'm not doing this tonight, I'll start on it tomorrow. As I was sitting home kind of thinking about that, I had one moment in my mind. And this moment in my mind told me, it said, uh, bro, you said that you were going to do this today. Do it. You know? How can you be as great as you're going to be if when you say that you're going to do something, it just, it just doesn't happen? Not how the law of attraction works. For dreams to work, you have to work, you know? The only type of people that get uncomfortable by this type of talk is people who know they should be doing it, you know? But they let fear beat them. They let the fear beat them. I just prefer to, well, at least after when I became an adult, started training martial arts. I prefer to attack the fear. You know, it's human, feel it. But take a deep, deep breath and attack it. You know, go towards it. Don't let it come towards you. 
I'm in a room full of people, business people, whatever. I attack that situation. I go talking to the people, you know. I don't let people gather around me asking me all these type of questions, you know. Yeah. Sorry, man. I like to. I, uh, here in Korea, you know, I don't really get to speak my native tongue a lot. So, when I have a lot of, when I have an opportunity to speak it, I always take the wrong turn, that's not right. When I have an opportunity to speak it to an audience, I can understand what, what I'm saying. I relish in that opportunity, you know. I barely ever get to speak the English language. Uh, well, with my people that I'm at the office with, I do. But I mean, really get to really like, let it rip, you know, this is it. So, when I first got here, that was a hike. But now I probably did it in, shit, about 12 minutes. I did it. So I get here, I do about an hour, 15 minute workout. And then that'll be at. No, actually, I do about an hour and a 15 minute workout. Should go to sleep, but really can't. This is all the weight equipment. Now it's time to put somebody up here. Look at the view. This is a beautiful camera. Now you guys can actually see what's really up. Check it out. Today I'll do the. Today I'll do the. Uh, See, breath control. Look at the squat rack. The squats are freaky, right? This is the squat bar. Look how old it is. Look at it. This is that real shit. So, look at that, right? You do these squats. You better not ego lift here because I'll show my mom in this video, but wrong, wrong fall on this squat rack right here. Wrong, wrong fall. And look where you're headed. Can't really see it, but uh, you're going pretty fucking far. It's a good chance you're out of here. So yeah, this is, I'm always very, very careful. And this is where, this is where upper body strength and grip strength comes in. Look at these weights, man, they're so fucking old, yo. And it's not just this. There are a lot more. They have an entire setup here. I can be doing some wild shit up here, boy. Look, they got the fucking, they got all the fucking pull-up bars, you know. In Japan, see in Japan, they, once I lost my car, I couldn't even um, really go to the gym that we had, so I was just working out at the park on these little kid, like, monkey bars, you know, monkey bars. In this small area, you can, like, have a lunch head shit. It's dope. I'm always, like, just, like, sleeping in there, because, you know, I'm from America. That shit is a thing. It's dope, right? Really give me all a tour of Korea. Fuck, fuck with the boy. I mean, who you else know bringing y'all content like this? You're still studying jujitsu. Well, just in case somebody wanna fight to the death up here, we can do it. You know, you can, you think these type of things, man. You go up here in a mountain by yourself, anything can happen. But that's me being from America, you know what I mean? Always having that thought kind of in my mind. But in places like Japan and Korea, it's pretty fucking safe, you know? That American thought process is definitely has been instilled with me and in great in great quantities, you know. And anyway, look at all this shit. I'm gonna kill this one tonight. Yeah I am. Alright. Alright, baby, we got about a good hour and shit 15 to attack. Here we go. 
Yeah. Man, this camera quality is so much better, yo. When I was on, uh, when I was showing you all this shit on my, on my other phone, you guys couldn't really see the power, yo. But this is what it's really hidden for. But yo, this ain't fucking with Japan, yo. Japan view was crazier, man. I gotta be careful. I have to trip. Cause boy, oh boy, if you trip down here, you're dead. Puts, shit really puts life into perspective, y'all. I don't know what happened. All my light just went dim. But it did. Uh, Alright, I'll stop this video.